So, my mom just found these old CDs of mine uh, in this black case. We used to take all our CDs out back when CDs were a thing. Um, and I was just looking through them and they are awesome. So we have like some 70s, 80s music here. This mix is Club Mix 2000. This is, I was into a lot of Christian rock, so this is one of those. Um, this is Dogtown, Lords of Dogtown, 1996 Grammy nominees. Yeah, <laughs> music inspired by Harry Potter, uh, Kerrang, uh, 2007. This MySpace one is like all the emo bands were doing covers of Smashing Pumpkins. Canadian music compilation, Peace Not War. Ashley Simpson. Um, this is the Romeo and Juliet soundtrack. Again, some more Christian wow worship music. And then uh, the Academy is... Man, this is taking me back. Use this uh, Silver um, silver Chair, Frog Stomp, one of the best albums of all time. White Stripes. You got some Timbaland. That was like the first and only rap album I bought. Um, then we have Vertical Horizon. I don't remember them. Hanson Live from Albertane, Backstreet Boys, Black and Blue. Um, this is a, a Green Day one, I believe. Um, what's this one? The Academy is. Basement Jacks. I don't know if you guys remember them. They were uh, like a disco, disco <laughs> electronic music. By the Tree, that's another Christian one. Uh, what do we have up here? Uh, Coldplay, The Crossing, Cure. <laughs> oh, Chameleon Circuit. That's the... Um, I don't know what this one is. If you know what that one is, let me know. This is Equine Crush, Enrique Iglesias. This is um, a Canadian band called Great Big C. Go check them out. They're awesome. Um, American Rejects, Green Day, Goo Goo Dolls. This is like Iris, that one song. Look it up. Everyone in my generation loved that song. More Green Day, Original Hanson, Hanson Snowden. I loved Hanson. Gym Class Heroes. Okay, what do we have here? I'm not sure what this black one is. Uh, him, which is still one of my all-time favorite bands. Hoxley Workman, I still love him. Jason Mraz. Here we have Daft Punk, Josh Groban, John Mayer, John Mayer Trio. He was really good there. Uh, Jack Johnson, uh, Ryan Adams and the Cardinals. Um... And then we have Len. Oh my gosh, you can't stop the bun rush. That was, we used to laugh about that all the time. I can't remember Kyle Riabacco. I can remember the CD case, but I can't remember the songs. I think this is one of those like big band kind of musics. I, can't, I have to listen to it to find out what it is. Liam Titcomb was like a early, no, it was, I think it was the 90s. The Moffats. I love the Moffats. Canada Needs You. This is a... A guy who writes songs about Canada. <laughs> then we have Nirvana, Bleach, Nevermind, Never Ending White Lights, um, and more Backstreet Boys. Wow, No Doubt, Paul Coleman Trio, more Backstreet Boys. And then we start to get into, you know, my interest in more classic rock here. We have the Beatles. Um, what's these? Oh, Peter Gabriel, these two. Reliant K, Moises Gadia. I think he's Nicaraguan, because that's where I got the CD. Um, Queen, but this is the symphonic tribute to Queen. And then we have a lot of Rufus Wainwright. Uh, Rufus, Rufus Poses, those were Want, Smash Mouth. Uh, the other CD for the Ryan Adams. Um, more Rufus Wainwright, I believe. And what's this one? Smashing Pumpkins, more Beatles. Spice Girls have to have that. Three Dog Night. Um, they were pretty cool. And then these are like uh, legendary divas and legendary crooners. So like Frank Sinatra, Judy Garland type music. And there's two CDs in each. Queen. I don't know what this one is either. I don't recognize the symbol. Then we have Intermission. I don't know if that's the name of the band or whatnot, but... I don't recognize that. Maroon 5. <laughs> uh, Rufus Wainwright. Oasis. Lost Dogs. The Killers. Yeah, I had some pretty good music tastes, I think. Um, Prozac. I don't know if you guys remember Prozac. And the uh, the first Panic at the Disco album. 
So that's my awesome trip down memory lane. Thank you for coming along. <laughs>